Welcome back, everyone. What will the kids do this summer? If you're still trying to figure out the answer to that question, listen to this. There's a really cool camp in Connecticut where kids can learn about aviation, engineering, and life. They're actually going to get behind the controls of a virtual plane. Oh. It's and they will build and fly drones like this one on the table. David Cornelius is at the controls of the drone right now, and with him is Gemma Yessel. They are co-owners of Milestone C. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks this, for having us. Thank you. This is quite the operation, not just making s'mores at this camp. Let me tell you, we actually uh, get to sit behind <laughs> a flight simulator. Absolutely. The, the students, we bring this to the classroom. They get to learn aviation and engineering. They fly the planes. They build the drones. And it's, it's, a, it's a camp and after school program that we're launching this summer. Now let me ask you a question. Is this for kids who are already showing an interest in engineering and aviation or this is just for anybody and then they just sign up and they say, hey, I can learn this. this is something going to be new to me? The program is for all backgrounds, actually. So the mission is to not only motivate but also empower the next generation of STEM leaders. Okay. So it's a very unique STEM program and the whole point behind it is to bring the engineering and aviation internship experience to the high school student. And also, what, what parents might be impressed with is you guys, the founders of this camp are real. You were a combat pilot. We've got Fortune 500 innovators who are running the camp. Why did you decide that kids need this? Uh, it, it's personal for us. We want, we want the kids, the next generation, to, to start early, learn what they like, and then go do that in the future. Um, we, we eventually found out what we liked, but it started late for us. So yeah. we, want, we want the kids young to, to really learn that. And if they're going to learn more about engineering and aviation, they're going to learn how to socialize and interact and, and just become the, the leaders of tomorrow. Absolutely. So in addition to designing, building and flying their drones, flying these simulators, they actually practice leadership and teamwork. Which is great. Going through the same simulations that corporate executives go through. Right. So even though the program itself has an aerospace flavor, which is our background, the program was designed to introduce students to skills that are globally applicable no matter what profession they choose. Now, and you say that um, we should, anyone, if you don't have much Get skill, which I'll other than going to the uh, Air and Space Museum. You wanted to touch the sun, sweetie. This is your opportunity. I used to want to be an astronaut when I was seven. Feet go, feet go on the rudders. Okay. I'm You're fine. Mine can, really reached. I was going to say, can you reach? If not, I'm going to have to get you some blocks. Okay. So here's your stick. So up, oh. down. Here's your throttle. So you can, you can fly right into the melons, hopefully uh, over them. Oh, over and again, the this is a yeah. training tool that we bring okay. into the classroom with the students. And we teach them the basics of aerody aerodynamics. We be teach them the basics of aviation. But it goes way beyond that, right? Yeah. So we teach them situations like if you're at a certain oh, altitude the and your engine quits, <laughs> you're faced with a life or death situation. Okay. Seriously. But you can actually point the nose down and trade your potential okay. energy for kinetic energy, which teaches you things like confidence, down, teaches you things, things like prioritization, task management, critical thinking situational awareness and that's the point we want to make right if students attend this program and they ultimately decide engineering and aviation is not for them right they still walk away with these skills that are universal which can be applied exactly, exactly to any exactly. situation which is exactly. truly terrific how you doing over there I don't know um, I'm trying not to avoid the mountain. <laughs> I don't know did you crash yet <laughs> no. I would help but I can't see so. okay, okay. I guess, uh, that joystick is moving rather quickly so there we go. I'm going into the houses. How do I go up? Okay. <laughs> okay so, but this is, uh, if, if people are thinking, like, this is great, this is going to be a little bit of an educational experience, but also some fun, right? The kids are going to have fun doing this? Absolutely. I mean, if it stops being fun, and yeah, if it, I, I mean, frankly, if it starts feeling like more school after school, then we're doing something wrong. Okay. Right? So a typical day, like what can the kids look forward to? So when they come in, we keep the lecture part of this to a bare minimum. It's almost less than 20% of the program. Oh, thank The God. rest is getting hands-on, and they start, you know, these drones, we brought them as examples, but they start from scratch. Scratch. They do parts. their own design. Which is and, great. And they follow the real-world engineering process, but they're hands-on the whole time. Is this an overnight camp, or is this a day camp, and people, will you tell us a little bit about No, that? sir. The summer camp is actually two weeks long. Two weeks it's long. It's four hours a day. Okay. Uh, oh, that's and the after-school program is the same curriculum, same total number of hours. It's just broken down differently, and it, it happens over the course of 14 weeks. And okay. middle and high school students. Middle and high school students. So what if we're interested and think this is great? Can we uh, reach out? Can we have our educators reach out and maybe you could bring this to one of our Connecticut schools if it's not already there? Absolutely. That's the model, actually. We travel to the schools and we deliver the program at the schools. So for the full semester, we have four schools that are hosting the program. For the summer camps, we have two schools. Matter of fact, we have uh, district-wide partnerships with the Shelton Board of Education and the Notre Dame High School in West Haven, and they're hosting and sponsoring this program. Which is incredible. Is this got set up in about 20 minutes here in our studio.
studio. So if they can set it up here in 20 minutes, they can go anywhere and set this thing up. Absolutely. Which is really terrific. Well, the after-school program is great, too, because even if uh, you don't have the time this summer or... I know one of your camps has more full than the other, but we still have space in Shelton, right? Yes. August camp is almost full. Uh, July camp, we're still accepting applications, so looking forward to it. Now, Carol, when you said they still have space, was that a double entendre? Yeah. <laughs> I can't really focus that. Yeah, I, I might know. crash. <laughs> How do I land? <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you'd like to sign your child up for this really cool camp, there are spots still available, especially for the July sessions. Just go to Milestone C. Dot com. That's milestonec.com. You can also sign up for fall after-school camps there as well. Gentlemen, I'm going to do one of those cool oh, highway she's landings. She's, get in <laughs> like there. Where, you know, Gemma, get in there, like she's having fun. Get in there and help her, would you? Uh-oh. Right, I'm going into someone's... Oh! Oh, 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 that's not good. <laughs>